Well, we got to talking about some of the great singers who I was lucky enough to work with, and I, one of the great ones was Patty Page. Her manager's name was Jack Rayle. Yes. And I knew Jack very well. And I'll tell you a story about Jack Rayle that's really hilarious. We were in, the, in Miami. I worked with her. Patty Page. She came in at the Clover Club wearing saddle shoes. I'll never forget that. She recorded this song, which was had not caught on, but it was called the Tennessee Waltz. And this girl became, because of that song, really, that's the song that lifted her right up. Jack Rail was her manager, smart enough to know it. Patty Page had never been to a racetrack. And Jack Rail was not there at this particular time, but she wanted to go. Someone had invited her. I think Saul Silverman had invited her out to the old uh, uh, tropical racetrack, which is located down in the southern end of Miami, Florida, on Bird Road and Red Road. You know, it was very primitive in those days, and there, was that, there weren't that many people there. And it was a, on the outskirts, way on the outskirts. So, Patty, I went to the track with Patty. And if I lived to be 900, Patty had never, she didn't know any, she knew, she's an Oklahoma girl and she knew what horses were, and every, but she didn't know too much about thoroughbreds. And she had never been to a, a racetrack like this. And of course, everybody gets a program when he goes in. And we're sitting there having lunch, and she says, Oh, look at this horse in this first race, number seven. Jack Rail's mother's name is Helena, or something like that, and so on. And this horse's name is Helena's Pride, or something like that. Oh, I like that horse. And someone, or perhaps myself, I explained to her what the daily double was. You bet the first horse to win in the first race, and you bet the horse to run first in the second race, and if they do, that's the daily double, and it can make a lot of money. Well, Patty Page didn't know a horse from a cow when it comes to thoroughbreds, and she said, now the second race, oh, look at this horse, window shade. Well, you know, the boy he used to go with, his father made window shades in, in uh, Enid, Oklahoma, or wherever it was, so I'm going to bet that number seven and number seven. Well. The horse in the first race went off like 70 to 1. No oh chance to win. God. Hey, listen, and this horse in the second race went off like 50 to 1. I don't have to tell you the rest of the story, but it is true. If Patty, God love her, I, she's the sweetest girl, she'll tell you. She bet the 7-7 seven, seven combination and almost broke the racetrack. <laughs> she put a $20 bill in, uh, in, uh, for $2, you would get back something like that. Seven hundred dollars. Well, she bet a twenty-dollar bill and got back like I don't know an astronomical amount of money, more than she ever made singing at the Clover Club. But that's a true story.